Okay, today what I'm doing is I'm just digging a hole for a Dakota fire hole, and tomorrow we'll burn in it. May run out of daylight here today. Looks like I'm gonna have plenty of wood to start the fire with tomorrow. What I'm afraid of running into though is a lot of rocks. Let's First hole. I'm back out here today covering the Dakota fire hole. I've dug this one time before. Myself and a buddy of mine, we, we dug it. I think it was a little bit longer. The tunnel was wider. It took us about two hours of just digging. It took up a lot of time, a lot of energy. It's really not worth having unless you're gonna be in this campsite or where you're gonna have this for an extended period of time. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to rock around this and I'm going to keep this here and come back and use it whenever I want to. But if I was just day hiking or camping, this is just too much energy to use if you're just going to be in a campsite for, for just one day. Especially if you're out by yourself, uh, you get tired real fast. The concept of the Dakota fire hole comes from a military standpoint. What you would do is you would build this close to a tree and if you did use wood that caused it to smoke, it would come up against the tree and it could cause it to, to expand it and disperse it a lot faster. If I was out in the woods and I didn't have my little grill with me today, I would just take green sticks and put this way to have as my grill to put food or pots and pans on it. But since I don't really want to cut down any more green sticks and trees in this area, I'm just going to use my grill today. So let's get started. Yesterday, as I was explaining the two holes in the tunnel, I stuck the camera down in the hole to show the tunnel. And when I checked the, the camera, you couldn't hear what I was saying. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick the camera down in the hole so you can see the tunnel. But it won't have very much sound. So. Got my helper with me today. Good job, buddy. Thanks. Um, hey, lady, walking to Camp Ottawa.
What are you doing, buddy? The bulldogs are moving the earth. No, a bulldoze is called like last time there was a video about my son's uncle. I mean father. Are you sure about that? His, yeah. his uncle? Yeah. His it, uncle father uncle? Yeah, because he was driving a bulldoze. He says have put both kind of dirt and what? Uh-uh. You gonna come help your mean old daddy? Um, no. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. You just gonna show up for the hot cocoa, right? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. That's what I thought. My helper's over there. Not helping. <laughs> Some of this stuff must be green. Causing a lot of smoke. Sounds like fat pets here. Uh-huh, I hear him. Who is that, buddy? Yeah, it's Pat. <laughs> Hot cocoa on the stick. Of all my time in the military and all my time hiking, backpacking, camping, it took me over 20 years to figure out this little trip. I guess I identified with Forrest Gump. I know I'm not a smart man. I would make a steaming hot cup of water for my cocoa or my ramen, or whatever I was cooking. And I would sit there, and I would let it cool off. Took forever to cool off. As you get older, you're supposed to get smarter and wiser. So, what I do now, is I just pour a little bit of the water out. And then I replace it with some cold water.
Y'all text. Mm -hmm. That's some good hot cocoa. This was a fun little project to make. I put a little more work into digging than I wanted to because, you know, fat boys don't like to work. But I've got my two holes. You can see where it's burnt down. And this is where the air draws. So, next time, I believe that I will try to cook something over it. Maybe make the green stick grill and cook some bacon. Some bacon. Or maybe some steak. That would be good. Anyway, any day out in the woods is a good day. It's starting to rain, and I'm afraid that I might melt away. So it's time to say, see you on the trail.